Someone commented on the trendy image trail mouse follow in Webflow with P5.js. They want to know, hey there, is there any way to possibly dynamically pull in the images from a CMS collection? Let me show you how to do that. Here in Webflow, we've duplicated the original project. Now we'll see that we have a CMS collection with people and there's 10 of these items and each one has an image and we're going to be using this image. Now let's head over into Navigator and we'll see that I have a CMS collection here with a class of hide and all that does is set it to display hidden. If I remove that, we're going to see all of our pictures in a collection list here, but we don't need to see them. We just need them on the page so that we can access them with our JavaScript. So I'm going to put that class of hide back on and I'm also going to show you here in the page settings in the head tag, we're loading the script to get P5.js. And then in the before closing body tag, we're loading our code sandbox file. In my last video, I went over all of the code required to get this image trail mouse follow effect working. So we don't need to cover that again today. What we'll look at is how to pull these images dynamically from CMS. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all those static image references. Now we need to get those image references though. On the publish page, we see we have nothing, but let's go ahead and inspect what's going on here. So we have our div with the class of hide and obviously we're not seeing it, but then inside there we have a list and then we have each item. And then lastly, we have our image inside that collection item. Now, the big thing here to notice is that this image is, this is just HTML and we have the source attribute here and the source attribute is listing to the network location of the file that we want. And there's a bunch of other data source images here. This is a Webflow thing. They create optimized images for different breakpoints so that we can serve like smaller files on mobile, that sort of thing. The other thing to recognize is this data image person. I've set a custom attribute on this image in Webflow. If we select the image, we can see the custom data attribute in the settings tab down here at the bottom custom attribute and we've set data image equal to person. So now we've seen how elements in Webflow map to HTML and data attributes on our page. Now we can get back to the code and figure this out. The very first thing I want to do is get a reference to all those images that exist on the page. And for that, I'm going to use the query selector method. So I can create a variable called CMS images and I'll say document query selector all. And then I'm passing the string here. That's a data attribute selector. You know, it's a data attribute selector by this open close brackets. And then within there, we have the attribute name of data image. And then we have this syntax for equals. And then within quotes, we have the data attribute value, which is person. This is great because in Webflow, we tend to change class names a lot. So selecting things by the ID or the data attribute is a better way to make sure you don't break your code later down the line. Next, we'll create a for loop and we want to loop through all of the images that are in this CMS images variable. So we're going to say for let CMS image of CMS images. And what we're doing here is we're creating a new variable. And this for loop syntax is a way of getting each individual image out of CMS images. Next, we'll say image URLs dot push. That's a Basically what we're saying here is that we're adding each image to the array called image URLs and we're passing CMS image to it. And we'll add that source attribute that we were looking at in the inspector and save. So basically what we've done here is rather than providing the source attributes directly or statically in our JavaScript, we've gotten them from the page using JavaScript with the query selector all method and then push them into this array. And then our code is going to use that array in a queue to make our image trail effect happen. We can see now that we get this image trail and it's pulling all of our CMS images. And if we updated the CMS, it would also add those images to our trail. 